Welcome, Cancer. How are you today? We're getting ready to do a new love reading. We're going to pull a romance angel. Well, two just jumped out of the deck. That was fast. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Cancer, look at you. A wedding. This situation involves marriage. Okay. Well, that's kind of fun starting energy. I like that. Okay, Cancer, we're going to shuffle three times and get your energy in the deck for new love coming in. I'm excited for you. We already have a great start to the reading. I just want to welcome everybody. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by especially, and thank you to subscribers. I so appreciate all the beautiful support I've received. Thank you. I love all of you. Cutting the deck. Let's see what the overall energy is. Okay, Cancer, you've gone through a bit of a bad time. You just, you kind of don't want to suffer any foolishness with anybody. Understandable. Okay, so, oh, the card of new love. Like Cancer, really? <laughs> you are really, oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you. New love coming in. The Ace of Cups is the epitome of the meaning of new love. So you may be attracting another Cancerian or another water sign. You are moving slowly towards your love destination. A Virgo is keeping track of you right now. I feel like it's somebody in the workplace, somebody that you know very well, and you, the two of you are having a bit of an exchange here. There's definitely a little flirtation going on. The hanged man, Pisces energy, you're being very wise right now. You're very much looking at things from a different perspective. You know, you really want to read the hieroglyphics, whatever the signs that Spirit is sending you. Um, you're really paying attention at this time. And it's very Cirque du Soleil. You look like you are in a happy place. But, you know, you're in a holding pattern for right now. Uh, the person that you you know is coming towards you is watching you carefully they just they're observing you a very nice way so what we have here in terms of the message that i'm getting from spirit is that it looks as though you may have been have been or you are going to be involved or attracted to somebody who has some devil energy maybe some energy that isn't so good for you so yeah, it's just a cautionary note. You can always make choices. Free will overrides um, everything, right, at the end of the day. It does look like you could be attracting a Capricorn, but somebody who wants to be in charge. So you might want to take a cautionary note with that one. We get the energy here that you are very much, you know exactly what you want. You're moving very forward. You're moving forward very quickly. I also get that somebody wants to talk to you. There is somebody who wants to speak to you, and I definitely feel it's this very sexy energy that wants to, Cancer, come to me, you know? <laughs> That's my compelling devil voice. Okay. We have that you are standing in your power. You know, nobody's going to talk you into anything that you don't want to do. You are passionate. You are excited. You are in a good place in your business life. You're doing very well for yourself. Um, it looks like money is, you are saving money. But I'm getting that you're very attracted to somebody who is an entrepreneur or somebody who is coming in that's going to return very quickly. And it looks like you're going to have a choice of a couple of people here. I do think some person's returning quickly. Um, I do think that this is a person that you... You're very, very much enthralled with, but I'm going to say new love can be the return of an old love. It can be a restart, but also I just want to emphasize nobody but nobody. I'm not advocating for anybody to take anyone back. So, you know, as you look at this, don't take it, don't read it that way because I certainly am not. The, oh, look at Empress Energy. You are manifesting love in your life. An abundant, beautiful, kind, nurturing, sweet, stable love. Empress Energy is the planet Venus. It is home and hearth and everything that we value. You are holding back right now. You are sort of guarded in your uh, approach to new love. Tell us something, Spirit, about this Ace of Cups. Tell us something about this new opportunity 
coming in for our Cancer friends. Let's see. Capricorn energy, staying grounded, staying focused on your goals and what you want. I do feel very strongly that you have Capricorn energy coming in. Very strong. Here we go. We have it again. Another Capricorn sign here. So again, very strong intuition here is telling me that you are very much likely to be approached by someone that you work with, somebody who really has always had a very strong feeling of love for you. Look at this, Virgo energy twice now. Again, grounded energy, work-related energy, but this is legacy love, and it said that's a marriage card. Wedding, a wedding is involved in this situation, and that is a marriage card. So that is all about stable love between two people who are passionate, who are on the same page, who have the same values, that are loyal, people who might have children together, and the color, color yellow. I can't talk tonight. Well, it's 2.30 in the morning. I'm doing this in my middle of the night, but the color yellow features prominently in the Ten of Coins card. Yellow is about happiness and joy, and we also see that as you seek enlightenment, there's a lot of yellow here. So seeking enlightenment will be a big part of your journey this time, uh, at this time for seeking the love and really getting the love that you want and deserve. You've manifested it. <laughs> I mean, all right, so you will have an option. You will have two different options. Both of them will be quite good. Capricorn energy again. Somebody, that a really strong work vibe here for you. Somebody that you met at work, somebody that you'll meet at work. A really cool energy. It's very grounded. The devil energy. Ooh, 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 somebody's obsessed with you. They feel as though you are their empress. This person, again, I feel as though this is a very dear friend with whom you have really never had a romantic relationship. But this person is going to make an offer that would be almost impossible for you to refuse. Eight of Swords, but refuse you do. <laughs> you refuse it for a while. The Five of Swords says that you, you know, realistically, you don't necessarily want to be involved with anyone who uh, is too sort of bossy or pushy. That's the energy I get. You know, right now you're still in this energy of seeking answers, so I don't see you rushing into anything. You're definitely taking the slow but steady approach here. Why else do we have this Virgo energy? Aha, there your ships have come in. Somebody's coming around. I'm getting, okay. So again, I will reiterate what I said a bit earlier. You do have the sexy devil to find you as their mistress, but I do see there is a duality here in this reading with the two of coins. You also have someone returning. So again, it will be up to you, but this person has really been in your head, Cancer. There's a lot, there's a lot of angst that you have here about this five of swords, somebody who was very dramatic, who didn't, who wasn't so nice to you at one point, but you do see them as your future. Interesting energy though, because I also see you in the energy of starting to view things differently. Okay, so a different perspective is always good. The queen of fire is okay. So you have somebody who's going to come in very quickly, Gemini energy with a lot of communication, and then it's going to be somebody who really wants to make a passionate offer to um, have a steady relationship with you. You have, and you're holding back though. So for, you know, I really hope that you'll leave comments below because I see there's a lot of holding back energy here, a lot of inaction on your part, Cancer. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I saw that right here in the reading. Okay. So you have fire in your belly for someone that you haven't seen in a long time. Somebody that it looks like, it looks like they were a lightweight. It looks as though they will throw caution to the winds and reach out romantically and close the cycle of quiet. So I like that for you. So for those of you who are looking for someone to come back, I definitely see an emperor type person who's going to make a substantial offer. This is no matter who your new love is, you have a divine counterpart here. Look at that. The emperor energy with the empress. 
The Ace of Coins is an engagement card. It's a huge offer in love. It's like, let's get married. That's the love. It's the engagement ring. The Four of Cups says that you're really, you know, other people are interested in you, but you're not interested in them. So I see you being having a very limited view of who you really want, but you are going to embody everything that the Empress brings to the table. This is a manifestation of a true love with your counterpart, you know, the Emperor and Empress, divine counterparts. So that's what I have for you today. Cancer, it was a joy reading for you. Thank you so much for visiting. Bye-bye.